All right, today I'm here with another unboxing video from the Iffy store. It finally showed up in the mail. Super Neptunia RPG. Yes, that is what is in this box right here. That's what's in this box. Super Neptunia RPG. I'm so excited. I I just got this package on my on my front porch. So yeah. So let's open this up. So let's see what's in here. Now what I pre-ordered from the PlayStation Store, from the, what I pre-ordered, how is that PlayStation Store? What I pre-ordered from the Iffy Store was Super Neptunia RPG PlayStation 4 version. And I'm pretty sure I would get that. I'm pretty sure I get the game. I just really want to see what's in this box. So let's open this up. And I know it's from the Iffy Store because it says Iffy Store on it. They're probably charming, the best game I ever played. Uh, Super Neptune RPG. All I see in this game is a few screenshots of it. A few screenshots. I think the limited edition, the last time I checked, came with a few cards of all the characters. I noticed a girl with goggles in it. That's about it. I haven't seen any. I've been trying to avoid spoilers the whole entire time. Let's open up the box. Yeah, I don't really care for spoilers in any game I'm excited about. I just rather avoid them. Now, uh, what we have here, we have a nice big roll of something. We have a nice big roll of something. I could do something else. No, I don't. No, I wouldn't do this with the merch. Yeah. No, Let's here with the merch. What do you have? What do you have? Let me set this on the floor. A box. There you go. It's the official Super Neptunia RPG box. Let me unbox it. All you gotta do is crack this bad boy open. Crack, crack, crack this bad boy open. Yeah, I always thought it would be interesting. They gave me the wrong game or the wrong soundtrack route, but it's very unlikely to happen. And that's me checking the iffy store in five seconds for another game. They still have these in stock. This costs $84.99. That's her new limited edition price. You be the judge, is that too much? But we're not here to complain about the price. Or, I say what a great price point it is. Let's just unbox it. In this box, you have cardboard. You got cardboard, a fleshy, a fleshy. See, you got your Neptune pudding fleshy. Yeah, I think that's what's officially called the Neptune pudding fleshy. Somebody say, why don't you use a knife? There's, there's a little bit of tape on there like this, so. stopping me from opening it up. Yep. It's the pudding plushie. That's what that thing says in plain English. Yep, it's fleshy. I think it has beans in it. It looks like it's a well made fleshy. It looks like a well made fleshy. It's it's flat on top of stuff. Uh -huh, so. Last but not least, the thing I've been waiting for ever since it was announced, ever since it was announced, ever since Ideal Factor announced it, Super Neptune RPG, the game, the game, rated team for everyone, suggestive violence, overall breaking, suggestive team. No, that's just a violence. Parental discretion advised. Explore the world of Super Neptunia RPG. No, we're just gonna open up. No, we're gonna open up the game. Did 
Here you go. You have the game. Game this is in there. Game this. Let me see here. Yep, it's a little instruct. There's a little bit manual that just maps the controls. Not very much to it. Just tells you the controls. It's not very much to this map anyway. There's a little. There's a little guy that tells you. The controls in the game disc itself. Yeah, not very really much I can show you about the case. I'm gonna have to start putting some of this stuff on the floor at my little small table. This probably be your place. It's probably full cool, so. stuff. Oh, we have an even hidden, we have even more hidden product. The character cards, the Neptunia character cards. I believe these cards have characters among the characters. Of course, I'm going to show off this deck. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I not just? Why would I not just show off this deck? I'm just having trouble getting this knife to get underneath this plastic anyway. There we go, there we go. Nah, I bought this just so I could just look at it from a distance and wonder what it's like. Nope, my unboxings are never sponsored. There's never gifts. They're, there. they're, never, they're never gifts, it is. They're never gifts, it is. Mail. Sent out for this mail. That you just spend money on. I'm pretty sure Ideal Factory tried giving out a few limited edition boxes as a gift. I know I've seen Andre get a few limited editions from like publishers like Capcom. Wow, this thing is really hard to open up. This thumb slot right here is kind of hard to open up. I don't know why. It's like a hook on there. I know I'm struggling to open it up. Maybe if I just take this route, I'll probably tear this up. Can they make that more child proof? I know, I got my thumbnail in there. We don't care about that nation. It's our Neptunia RPG trading cards. If you have a deck of 50 cards. Wow, there are a lot. There are there are lots of cards. There's this one. There's Joker. Another. There's this one. You know, I just feel better doing like this instead of just doing like this. This is Joker. This is Joker card. There's black cards. Yep, yeah, there is a deck. It seems to be just a deck of regular. It seems to be a regular deck of cards anyway. I don't think I'm really skipping much anyway. Mm. You have Queen Noir. Queen Noir. You know, I might have to go through and separate all these cards out later. Uh, no, no, no. I did not realize it was going to be an actual deck of playing cards. So we have a deck of collectible playing cards that can be used to play poker or something else. Hmm. There's, there's Purple Heart. No Neptune in sight. You got your two, two of hearts. I don't know why. I don't know why. Why is it, they send me? They seem to a deck of cards anyway. No, no, no. I'm not complaining about the deck of cards anyway. I'm not complaining about that. It's a. That's all. This is a deck of cards. Huh? Oh, they're collectible. You can do what you want. You have Compa. Compa, who will free all my wounds. You have Neptune. Neptune, a mysterious character. Because I avoided spoilers to the max. I have no idea who this redhead could be. That's green heart. Yeah, it's green heart. Well, obviously after I get done filming and editing this video, I'm probably gonna be enjoying this game to the max. To the max. Yeah, I can't believe I skipped past IF. I'm IF. I'm the wind walker of game industry. It's Bert, the CPU of all CPUs. No one can surpass her beauty. It's a character who's wearing goggles, but again, I don't know who this is. White Heart. I kind of not recognize White Heart. 
Yep, there's more basic playing cards you probably don't care about. What's it this? We had the J of Diamonds. We had J of Diamonds. Blanc. Blanc for all those who like reading her novels. A mysterious character. We have Pudding. We have Pudding to match. We have Joker to match his Joker flesh. I think that's the whole entire deck. I think I've been to every card. I think there's all of our deck. So now they go back behind the table. And just so I don't knock these over by accident. I'm going to put this back in the case. It's the troubleshooting unboxing video. I don't want to just knock these over by accident. So sweet. That's sweet. In a really big package. It's been inside here this whole entire time. I think it's your art book and soundtrack. Oh yeah, the real big prize of all. The real big prize of all these things. Right? The real big prize. The Super Neptunia RPG. The Super Neptunia RPG. Let's see here. Well, I don't know what's in here. I think it's just an art book and soundtrack. Nice cover art. Not for game concept art that's been staring me in the face. Staring me in the face. A realistic studio. This was not made by comp. This was not made by Compile Heart. This was made by a company. This was made by a company in Canada. It first was titled the Brave Neptunia, but then we learned it's going to be called Super Neptunia RPG. But yep, this was. Yep, this was the this is game that was made by, by but not a Japanese developer, but. For Japanese developer, basically, yeah, basically, I don't think you outsourced the development of this game. Oh no, I don't know the first thing I should do before playing. I should look up a review and see what a reviewer thinks of Super Neptune RPG. Screw that shit. I have the physical game. It works. There's nothing wrong with it. I can make my own review as I so choose to. I can play it myself. I don't need to see somebody else's thoughts and opinions on it. Well, let's open this up. I already took this days off. The Super Neptunia RPG. Man, that brandy smells strong. Art book. No, it's not an art book. No, it's not an art book. It's a tin. It's a it's a collectible. It's a tin of some sort that is. It's a metal tin that has a case right here. Oh, I think it's a special case. I think it's a special case. Where's one wants to, where's one wants to, they can take the game disc of Super Neptunia RPG and store it in here. I think if you want to, you could take your game, you could take the game disc and manual and, and carry it around like this, and carry it around like this in, in a special case. You gotta dig the artwork on, you can, you gotta dig the artwork on this. It's shiny, it's brand new, it's, it's a special case. It is made out of tin. First, I thought it was an art book. That, oh, that's, I was wrong. Right. You can just carry the game and stuff around inside here. Well, we have the official soundtrack. And it's two discs. And it's two discs. Well, let's listen to some of that music, unfortunately. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's a soundtrack created on CD. CDs have been created since 1983. I think 1983 may have wrong about that. I know CDs are such an such an outdated form of listening to music, but yet they still persist. Hey kid. Hey kid. Yeah. I don't know the plastic is just getting caught around here. Well, I know one way to get this plastic off. So I was like, oh. Yeah, let's do that.
you have a Super Neptunia RPG soundtrack. Well, this one... This one... This two... Some of the bonus artwork. Yeah, there's really not much to the soundtrack. There's really not much to the assessors. It says a CD that's good for listening to. Unless you just think background video game sucks. And last, and not finally but not least, you have something called the Scarce Tome of Art, which is the collector's edition art book. Yeah, all those unused character sketches, all that stuff. Let's take a better, let's take a better look at this thing in front of the camera. Right about here. The gallery. First thing that greets us when we open it up is Neptune. Some concept launch. Oh, these are character profiles. Noir is next. I give it these are Blanc. Blanc, Bert. New characters. There's only been developed for this game. You know one of the silly things about this game? The CPU can just like RAM and ROM ever since I've been looking at promotional arts have never been shown. That doesn't that doesn't mean they're not in the game. They just haven't really been they haven't really been shown to be in the final product at all. Oh, somebody likes building their own mecha. Mecha form punchy things. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Let me guess, he's the evil antagonist. His CPUs are evil, must be destroyed. Well, I think we know IF. IF, short for Ideal Factory. Everyone's favorite guild member. Kampa, everyone's favorite nurse and trainer. She wishes they were too. It's Purple Heart. It's Black Heart. Yeah, mostly profiles. I'll freaking kill you, White Heart. Green Heart. E Star, man, E Star. There might have been, a, there might have been a, de a card of E Star in that deck. In that deck, I might skip right too far. Okay, character designs of Citizen Citizens and all that stuff. You probably really want to look at. You know, they're non playable. They're probably non playable MCBCs. Hey, hey, we already seen the pudding guy like a hundred times. Yeah. Maybe it's not pudding. I think it's pudding. I think it's pudango. Pudding pudango. I think pudango. Yeah, pudango. Yeah, come on. And some more characters. And some more characters. I think their background sketch is a monster. So probably going to be fading. Oh, yes. Promotional art for Super Nintendo RPG, working title, more promotional art for the game, feature, the one featuring is the, 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 one feature Neptune and Friends and extra characters, the one featuring Taz, the one featuring CPUs. Uh, locations, locations and backgrounds. Louis. Lean box. Planet Tune. Their idea what Planet Tune should look like. All I know that Neptunia Spinach RPG is a side scrolling Neptunia game. A really old ancient map. A really old ancient map of Planet Tune. What would it be? Guardian Castle, Castle, let's see. The forest. More concept art. Hooray! Look at all the concept art. Hmm, I wonder what 
direction we should go up into. Yes, it's so cool, it's so great. I like you, Neptune. Uh, I have no idea what that place is, but it looks but it looks fun, and that's the rest of it. Yep. Now you get more character designs. They go into lots of detail, but too bad I'm probably not going to give you enough time to read all this. I'm pretty sure this is some digital art. You can find better screenshots of artwork online. It's a bird. Is she ain't gaming? Is she ain't gaming? She's not gaming. She's not doing anything else. Although sometimes you wish you had a little sister. A new character. Cool robot battle armor designs. E-Star. E-Star. E it's the... Neptune, it will take me three days. It will take me three days to beat Super Neptune RPG. I like E Star has hair. I like every time E Star needs to do something. Research or something like that. It will always take her three days to do something. It's an, it's an, it's an angry joke. Packaging illustration and sketches. You know, rough sketches of all the characters before everything was fully colored. Weapons of pain. In the last of it ends with a really cool stoic dragon beast. Maybe we can call it Death Dragon. I can't. I'm the Death Dragon. I can't. Uh, I guess the back two pages must just be for autographs and stuff like that. They really don't have much on them. And we already seen. And we already seen all this. We already seen all this. So what did we get? So what did we get with this unboxing? We got. We got the unboxing case. We got the unboxing. We got the box itself. Uh, let's see here. The soundtrack. The, the official soundtrack. A collectible set of Neptunia. A collectible set of Neptunia. Of Neptunia cards for playing for playing card games. You got the game itself. You got the actual game, the actual game itself. A special case that appears to be for nothing else than this, holding the game, holding the game somewhere else. Oh yeah, and don't forget, I got the fleshy. Don't forget, I got the fleshy itself. Let's see if I can just bounce down over there. And, and the box it all came up. I want to thank all the people at Ideal Factory who worked hard and designed this limited edition box, who helped come up with the price, who helped price it, who drew all this stuff and worked on the game, and tirelessly worked on it. Even those who worked on that one company at Canada, I can't really think of the name, worked on this. I want to thank all the people who worked on this, but all the work into this, that's, oftentimes they're not thanked enough and they're not thanked enough, so... I want to thank all of them for working this. And I just appreciate this having a privilege to play this. So like I said, I'm going to go play. Like I'm going to go get my game on and play this. And I will probably see you in the next unboxing video. Unboxing on the video. On to the next V. On to the next video. On to the next video. Dangoo! Dangoo!